Tom Braun has been having a grand old time scaring people for nearly a decade. Every year, the Bismarck resident starts prepping his home as early as Labor Day, slowly but surely transforming it into a haunted house. I got a preview of what spooks are in store this year. 2001, um, about a half hour before trick or treaters showed up, I came with the idea for on Harmon, used a cardboard sign, spray painted it, and that first year was me, strobe light, scary music, and that was it. What began with a strobe light and a cardboard sign eight years ago has transformed into an all-out spooktacular haunted house. That was it. Had about 25 people come through that first year. It was just trick or treaters, and slowly, year by year, it got bigger and bigger and bigger. It sure did. Last year, people wrapped around the block, 900 of them, to get in and get scared. I, I just do this for the fun and for, for the community. And for himself, too. Ron is a self-professed Halloween addict. I've always enjoyed it when I was a little kid. I always, always um, like uh, the mask, the, the scary things about, about the movies and Halloween in general. His favorite part of the night? Seeing him scared. <laughs> Seeing him run down the driveway is uh, a lot of fun and, and very addicting. <laughs> it's an addiction shared by people in the community as well. I mean, I get cars coming by, as you can see. <laughs> um, some taking pictures and just touring the yard, or at least the front of the yard. Jason Toriano. It's not working. KX News. It's not all doom and gloom, though. Braun is serious about green as well. Last year, donating $650 to Big Brother Big Sister, this year, the money will be donated again to Big Brother. Big Sister Horan Harmon opens on Halloween night at 5.30 and runs until around 11.